Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Geeky Script. Today I am going to show you how to install latest version of PyCharm that is version 2025.1 on a Windows operating system. And after that I will show you how to use PyCharm for Python programming and creating some very beautiful Python projects. So first you need to go to your favorite browser and to type over here PyCharm download. Hit enter. So that will show you this www.jetbrains.com So just simply go to their official site of JetBrains. So this link I am going to provide right in our channel description. Once when you are here you need to just scroll down and you will get this PyCharm community edition. So you need to download this and that is going to immediately start downloading your PyCharm. You can see it is actually started downloading the PyCharm community version. I have already downloaded it so I am going to cancel it and I'm going to just simply click on back button so I, I want to talk about this PyCharm unified product so on their next release so they're going to integrate both PyCharm community and PyCharm professional into a single unified PyCharm so the version that we have downloaded right now that is 2025.1 will still support PyCharm community version but from the next version onward it's going to be a unified product so when that next version get released i am going to make a detailed video about that as well so you don't need to worry all right so for the time being you can just simply download this pycham community edition all right so this one so i have already downloaded it so i'll just simply go to my download directory and here is our pycham community edition that we downloaded so just simply double click on that installer and it could ask you for administrative privileges just simply click on yes and welcome to PyCharm Community Edition Setup. Just simply click on next over here. So this is the destination folder. You need to keep it default and just simply click on next. So here you need to select all these different options. You need to also select this add bin folder to path. That's a very important step. Don't forget to you know uncheck that. Always check that and click on next. And it's going to create a JetBrains folder. Totally fine. Click on install. So immediately it's going to start installing our PyCharm. So let's wait for a couple of minutes over here. So we'll come back. And now you can clearly see that our PyCharm Community Edition is actually installed. So here it has given a couple of options. One is to reboot now or you'd like to manually reboot later. So I'll always recommend you to reboot your system now. So just simply click on this reboot now. And just simply click on finish to restart your system. After restarting your system, let's come back to this video again. So we'll come back. So after rebooting your system, we you can land it over to the desktop and here is our PyCharm Community Edition version 2025.1. So just simply double click on the shortcut and that going to immediately start launching our PyCharm version 2025.1. And it has rightly launched. So here it has given you a couple of options. One whether you like to import all the settings from Intel IG IDEA that I that I have previously installed or from Visual Studio Code. I'm going to start it from scratch. So I'm going to click on this keep import and I'm going to just simply launch our PyCharm. So let's just maximize it. So welcome to PyCharm. So here let's create a simple Python project. So just simply click on this new project and here you need to provide your project name. So I'm going to give my project name as hello world and I'm going to also going to check this create a welcome script and here this is the most important part. So here when you click on this part python versions you can see that it is showing all these different versions along with the main version that is python 3.13.13. So if you are unable to see any of this python version then I highly recommend you to install your python by just simply following this video. Once you have python installed you will be able to see that python version over here. As you can see that on our C program files I have already installed python so that's why it is recognized that path. So I am going to just simply select that and I am just going to simply click on create. So that's going to immediately start creating our python project. So let's wait for a minute over here and by this time it's going to also ask you to provide this permission to windows security so just click on allow and there you go so you can maximize this so this is our pycharm version 2025.1 so you can always read this you know article about what's new in pycharm 
for the time being I'm going to close this and I'm going to just this project right click on it and hover over new and just simply click on a python file so let's give the python file name as main.py and just double click on this python file so immediately we'll see that file getting created over here so let's write a simple python program so let's first print something like hello world and it is telling to configure our python interpreter so just simply click on this configure python interpreter and you know click on this add new interpreter add a local interpreter and let's set as our base python which is 3.13.3 .3, and just simply click on ok so that going to point to our python interpreter it should be doing it automatically but for some reason if it is not doing just you know do it manually from here as the steps that I'm showing so when you click on the show all over here you can, you can see that it is updating that Python interpreter along with it is you know updating all indexes so it's it going to take some time let's wait for some more time so by the time it update our Python interpreter and indexes you can always follow our playlist on this cool Python project so here I have created several Python projects so starting from how to remove background from an image to all the jpegs how you can you know combine all these jpegs into a single pdf or how you can you know create your own unique qr code how to convert you know text into a handwritten text so that's a very beautiful one of my favorite you know python project and along with i have also created this how to detect a human face or an animal face so it's going to detect and tell you that this is a dog or this is a cat so all these different projects you know link i have you know shared on our channel description along with their detailed article and all the source code and everything you will get on our channel so if you go to this article you will see all these different source code i have already attached along with the github projects all right so don't forget to follow our python project tutorial so that's going to help you to learn more about python projects and that too all within our pycharm id and everything that i have showed you on those videos will be totally free so you don't need to worry about anything and you can add all these projects on your resume as well so that's the best part and here let's wait for some more time so we'll come back and now you can clearly see that our python interpreter is actually you know configured so now if you just simply you know write this print hello world and just simply click on this run button immediately it's going to start building our project and it's going to show you the output over here all right so similarly you can you know start creating a new project by just simply go to file and hover over new project and you can give your project name you can add you know a, a welcome script as well and you can start you know creating all these different projects and you can start practicing it from the beginning and that too on the latest version of pycharm all right so yeah so that's basically all about this video. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.